Well, as we've already seen, planning ahead makes all the difference when it comes to getting through this winter weather, making sure you have enough food, water, and supplies to get through the next several days is pretty crucial, especially with so many Texomans without power tonight. It's a great reminder to get the essentials before the next round of winter weather. Uh, and Brett Vetter actually he had a chance to speak with Sergeant Toby Romack with the Salvation Army in Wichita Falls today, who says that he and his crew are committed to keeping the doors of their shelter open. Hopefully some more of our staff will be able to get to work. I think that the roads are actually going to get worse before they get better. Uh, snowpack is one thing, but ice is something completely different. Roback says the power is still on at his facility. He hopes everyone who needs a warm place to stay does not try to stick it out alone. Now, as we saw earlier on the roads, there's not too many people out there, but you do definitely want to make sure that you give yourself plenty of time to get to your destination, at least 30 extra minutes, just to make sure that you are not getting stuck out there. Now, according to Wichita Falls Police Sergeant Charlie Iper, there were quite a few intersections earlier that had problems this morning due to those rolling blackouts that we've been talking about. By this afternoon, he says, though, that officers had been able to fix most of them, but that more could happen overnight, so you'll want to keep an eye out. I actually saw some earlier tonight, so be careful when you're driving. You watch for those intersections.